You know what that means. It's Thick 30. Hey y'all, I'm so excited. Today I have my best friend and maid of honor, Miss Molly here. And we are going to teach you how to make pumpkin spice espresso martinis. Yeah, this are. is our favorite drink. We're obsessed with it. Thanksgiving's coming up. The all things Thanksgiving. Friendsgiving, all the things. Yeah. And we're renaming it Thicksgiving. You're welcome. You can use it. You can steal it. All right. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's do it. Tell the fine people what we have here. Okay. So, first and most important ingredient is vanilla vodka. She made this, y'all. This is not just <laughs> any vanilla vodka, okay? <laughs> I made this. Um, it is just half a bottle of vodka with two vanilla beans. You slice them in half and stick them in there. This has only been in here for about two days. You can do it for a week. The longer it sits, the better it, the is. Better it is. And it smells amazing. It does. I'm very excited do you about that. what that is? I sure do. It is coffee. <laughs> it, it is. It's espresso. It looks like coffee. It's espresso liqueur. Right. That's what I meant. We have not had any of the martinis yet. I know that's shocking. <laughs> But we have not drank any of the martinis yet. Okay. <laughs> I just act like this, this is just how we have. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's this uh what is it? Espresso liqueur. Espresso liqueur. This is pumpkin, pumpkin pie spice. Pumpkin pie spice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this, I do know what this is. Uh -huh. This is just actual espresso. Um, some people say espresso, whatever your heart desires. You're yes. wrong, but this is about <laughs> this whole thing is about eight shots of espresso. So that's gonna go well. The fresher the espresso, the better. You can also use cold brew though. I've heard you can use cold brew, but this is fresh shots of espresso. We brewed it ourselves. Because we're bougie. Oh, and then this is a yeah. mixture of pumpkin pie spice and brown sugar to rim the martini There's a hair boxes. hanging off of that. That's fine. Do that again. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> no, you know what? I think that's perfect. Yeah, we love it. Pumpkin spice and brown, brown sugar. sugar. Yep. Yep. For the rims. Okay. Perfect. All right, let's do it. And then Molly's a big bow girl, so we tied some bows on here. <laughs> Made it festive. So you've got your shaker filled to the top with ice. Uh-huh. So here is your measurement. Perfect. And first ingredient is your vanilla vodka. Perfect. Okay. And you're going to do one and a half ounces. Yeah, one and a half. Or you just, if you're like Lauren, measure with your heart. Yep. That's perfect. That's almost two, but... It's almost two, but we love but that. But listen, that's the most important ingredient. It's so. Thanksgiving. You need a little extra. It's fine. You're dealing with your family. My, not, my family's not hard to deal with. <laughs> yeah. This is espresso liqueur. <laughs> Any espresso liqueur will do. What am I doing? One and a half ounces. Oh, actually, sorry. Two ounces of the espresso liqueur. Espresso liqueur? Does, does this have alcohol in it? Yeah. A little. It's liqueur, though. It doesn't have a lot. Liqueur is not as... <laughs> High in alcohol content. We don't Just pour it in there. Two ounces. No, you don't. Unless you like a little extra sweetness. This thing, I have I have a little beef with the thing. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's not the easiest. Uh-uh, it's not. Okay, then this is fresh brewed espresso, and you're going to do one and a half ounces of that as well. I shouldn't have said that this was a liquor. Perfect. That's a little too much. Is that okay? Yeah, it's perfect. Okay. Okay. And then and last but not least... Pumpkin pie spice, about half a teaspoon. So about and I'm guessing this is a teaspoon. Yeah, so it looks like a half. teaspoon, so I'll just do half of that. You can never have too much pumpkin pie spice. Okay, I'm gonna a little bit more. You know, like I'm saying, measure with your heart. Perfect. I yeah, I do always. Okay, now the most important part. That's why I'm thick. <laughs> <laughs> most important part. Shake it. Oh yeah. Little right here. Left here. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. She hasn't had any of the martinis. <laughs> and if you shake, when you're shaking your cocktail, you want to shake it till there's frost on the outside so that you get a nice foam. I'll, now I'll take a turn. Jimmy, 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 little <laughs> I'm gonna do this off camera. Not off camera. At all. I'm out of breath. Then you break the shaker. Then you break that in half. Okay, son of a bitch. <clears throat> this is where you work out your anger. It's the holidays. It's just... 
<laughs> that vanilla stuff you made smells so good. Which, by the way, I didn't know vanilla was a stick. It's a bean. Oh. I did know it was a bean. Yeah, you did. Okay. Oh. That's a bean. <laughs> yeah. Just Think about like a green bean. I've wet the rim. And then we're going to just kind of dip it in our brown sugar and pumpkin spice mixture. That was not good enough. <laughs> if you really want it to get sticky, sometimes you can use honey on the outside or maple syrup. And it makes it a little extra sweetness. But we don't really love super sweet espresso martinis. Perfect. Love it. <laughs> I'm still out of breath from the <laughs> shimmy, shimmy, shake, but shake. Is it, is it perfect? Though? No, it is. It's just whatever your heart <laughs> desires. And we pour. And you should have a nice layer Foamy of foam. layer. Yep. Perfect. Okay. So, you're supposed to put coffee beans in here. Yep, you're supposed to put And we don't have any. With the coffee beans. I love my neighbor, Kim. Talk about being thick as thieves. They were in Africa on a safari, and I broke into their house and borrowed baking powder. She's used to me needing to borrow stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are you camera ready? Just say just run in and throw Do you, will you, can you bring me the beans? Sure, whatever you whatever got. You have. Yes, please do. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Kim. Thank you, Kim. Bye. Bye. So my neighbor Kim's on her way with some. But in the meantime. Yes, this is the other garnish, some pumpkin pie spice on top. Just... And just sprinkle a little. Perfect. Looks That's great. Cute. Yeah, looks good. Kim's coming with the beans. Kim for the win. Man, I love Kim. Kim's the best. That is a southern woman right there. Look at her. She's walking it over. Here she goes. Here she comes. Miss. <laughs> Come on in. Kim, 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 Kim. Kim. Hi. Kim, you're a lifesaver. for your garnishes on top you always do three espresso beans for health wealth and happiness and then we're gonna do a little what if the bean sinks that was on happiness so that's not good <laughs> <laughs> well that's yours <laughs> and then you do a little molly it's a bean is under the foam no, it's fine it's fine we want happiness it's already causing me not to be happy. It's fine. Just sprinkle it with some pumpkin pie spice. That'll help me make... It'll what work. are the chances? You want another one? No. It's fine. All right. Perfect. That is the perfect pumpkin pie espresso martini. Two-thirds of a happy life. Never skip leg day. <laughs> Never. Thick. Um... Serve it with a little cocktail napkin. These are so cute, by the way. Good. Love them. Molly bought us little these. Little pine. They're very cute. I love a pine, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, we tied little bows around it, like I said. They're very cute and festive. And happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Chef's kiss. That happiness is... They were, That bean was wrong. I'm very happy. Mm. That is so good. Could have about three or four of those. Thick 30! <laughs>